What you're looking at is the touchscreen enabled data terminal. This is the, the key uh, piece that the police will use to, to run the data applications and many, many that they can have access to. What you're seeing here is the video uh, surveillance uh, application. So they can get access to fixed video surveillance from anywhere around the city coming to them live over uh, a TEDS or then later an LTE network. Um, also, they will have access to CAD here, uh, you know, computer aided dispatched communications, uh, contact with the communication center. Also, license plate recognition system. So, anytime without them having to uh, be watching, uh, they will be alerted to any car uh, that uh, that may have a license plate number that matches a hot list. And the hot list is updated live every moment over the network, uh, data network contact that they have. You also see uh, Motorola innovation around the integrated uh, Tetra terminal. So, not only can you control the Tetra radio, you can also control the light bar uh, and the sirens and, uh, and these types of functions in the car to make it easier. This car also has a voice recognition system installed, yeah, so you can uh, so you can uh, trigger actions with just your voice. Um, and I can try to demonstrate this here. Um, I will I will press this uh, green button and say pursuit, and if the car voice recognizes, it will turn the lights off. Pursuit. So it's automatically turned the lights on. Uh, you can integrate this with the video recording system so that it automatically stores video uh, of the pursuit that may be happening. Um, and it can, it can automate several functions so that the police officer doesn't have to worry about pushing all the buttons and doing all the right things. All, everything will happen all at one time with just one voice command.